Hey guys, welcome to Bad today, bringing our video, and today we'll be covering the Soap Operator Bundle and the blueprints associated with that bundle and going through the different operator skins that are associated also with the bundle itself that you can unlock via challenges. So, back in out here, we can see the final blueprint that we're going to get with this bundle. If we go back to the bundle here, we'll take a look at that. But first off, as we see the bundle here on screen, I want to give a big shout out to the community for finally reaching 30k or 30,000 subscribers. So I'll be covering that specifically in a dedicated video tomorrow. But thank you everybody. It really means a lot to me. And I really appreciate it. If you're not following the channel, be sure to give a subscription and a like the video if you're enjoying the channel. It really means a lot. Help this channel grow. So here we go with the Soap Operator Bundle. We have the bundle available in shop this week for 2,400 card points. Comes to around $20. So it comes with the... Highland Soap Operator Skin, and you obviously you unlock the operator itself. So you can see here the base operator for soap. And some in, in details here we can talk about the operator as we get through this. But that's the soap operator. It comes with challenges, but first let's go ahead and look at the blueprints. So here we go with the Sarek blueprint for the easy or the CZ Scorpion Evo A1. And again, we covered this yesterday with all the builds available for the CX-9 or the Scorpion Evo. So go ahead. You can check that out on the channel. I'll try and link that down below. All the different variants you can build with that. We have the Sullivan M1911 pistol here available. This is a blueprint. Again, pretty nice looking blueprint. It has the same type of camo effect for that ice type uh, Arctic weather blueprint camo that we have for the operator as well as both blueprints. Then we have the Alpine Stock Melee here. This ice pick, again, reminiscent of... Really, the whole bundle itself is reminiscent of that Modern Warfare 2 single-player mission. We have On the Top Charm. Again, homage to that. Point Taken Finishing Move, which looks like he's using probably a ballistic knife of some sorts. Hard to tell there. Unfortunately, we can't preview these anymore. Then we have the Scan the Vista Calling Card, the Cold Depths Emblem, and the Clean Cut Spray for Soap. So again, all this for 2,400 card points. It comes with Dismemberment and Tracer Effects on the two weapons. Now, the operator himself, but we go ahead and look at the operator. So, obviously, you can tell soap looks a lot different. I'm going to willing to bet that this operator is an unfinished, just kind of placeholder operator. I'm pretty sure they don't have the character model for soap yet as far as who they're going to model the character after. So, this is just kind of a rough design. I'm almost 100% positive this is going to look much different when we get into Modern Warfare 2 next year and they actually have a character to play this. Same as they had a character to play in Motion Capture Captain Price. They'll have somebody for Soap and this design will definitely change. But I think that's why this is out. One reason this is out so late is they don't have a character to model it after. And uh, that's probably one of the reasons they were holding off because I think a lot of people are a little disappointed with the facial features or lack thereof. But if we look at the Soap mission, so... This is one of those bundles they started doing back in the season five, I think, where you buy the bundle and you get three or missions to unlock two additional operator skins. So first off, we can see the first one here is just get five kills using soap as your coalition operator. And then the other ones we can't unfortunately see, but you can see the second skin that's available here again, very similar to the first one. You can see it just adds the edge of the rope on his uh, around his chest, a couple different ropes actually. Some of the light climbing gear, again, still no play carrier or tactical vest or anything like that. But he has a lot more climbing gear and he has the ice picks there as well. So that's the second operator one. And then the third one here, the best one obviously is over the edge. Again, this is the one that's modeled after that Modern Warfare 2 campaign mission. And this is actually a pretty nice one. However, unfortunately, it just really, really sticks out in uh, the game because there's only really one or two winter maps right now. Uh, so unfortunately they really never added too many snow maps. So this one and as well as the other ones just kind of really stick out on a lot of the maps in the game. But here you can see he has SAS on his top of his play carrier there, which you can see there when we rotate, he has his play carrier over his winter jacket there. And again, under some of the paracord there or the rope. So you see the play carrier there. And then again, he has the ice picks. He has the winter jacket, obviously the same hat. He's got his, you can see his ear pieces in there. And then the pistol holster, compass, and then you can see just the same SAS pants we see on some of the other operators as well as he's got gaiters. And then you can see he's got what looks like a chain around the bottom of his shoes there. You can see the linked up on his shoes for better grip in the Arctic weather is really what this is modeled after. For so this actually looks pretty cool. This one, again, probably worth it if you're a big soap fan. However, uh, not a huge fan of this bundle, which is why I actually didn't buy it. So what we're going to do is back, I'm going to show you these two weapons with the same attachments on them with the base weapons uh just to get an idea so this is what they look like with the blueprint 
again, you can see the differences here being the white white camo as well as the, the winter digital type ice look that they have on the magazine and the pistol grip. Other than that, it's relatively the same. There's no major changes. We have the gold there on the ejection port, a little bit of white for the tack laser, things like that. And then the same with the pistol, same design here. So really no heavy cosmetic changes. It's all really just camouflage changes. So let's go ahead and back out and we'll go to our custom game where I have these pre-built. And we go in here, again, you can see all the different builds here. So again, I'll link that down below for all of the Scorpion Evo builds that I did the other day when this released. Go ahead and check that one out. It goes through every build in depth as well as some gameplay with each and every one. So here we go. This is the same builds that we have with the blueprint that we just looked at for soap. And again, just because I didn't buy this, I want to build these off the base and you'll see gameplay with this as well. So again, the blueprint options here come with the CX-38S, the suppressed barrel, and a really suppressed barrel. So pros here are going to be damage at range, the recoil control, bullet velocity, and the sound suppression. The cons here, aim down sight speed and the movement speed. And then we go with the tack laser. Again, this is going to be very useful, especially on this weapon. You'll see how it plays out in game. You just got to be careful when and where you're using that attack laser. But it's definitely going to help out with the aiming stability, the aiming down sight speed, and the aim walking steadiness. Skip out on the other attachments, and then we have the CX-9 attack grip, which is going to help with the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed. The con here, aiming stability, but we're making up for that with the attack laser, so that's fine. 50 round drum mags, pretty much a must for this thing. Even though with the high rate of fire, you'll see even here in the gameplay for multiplayer, you just burn through the ammo so fast. It almost makes it kind of a not appealing option because the damage for this uh, just seems a little bit low for me, uh, which is why I didn't really buy the blueprint, but I'm not a big fan of this weapon personally. And then we have the commando foregrip again, recoil stabilization and aiming stability. The cons here being the movement speed. So this is the Scorpion Evo. With the same one modeled after the blueprint with the soap bundle. Again, it looks pretty nice. Really good weapon. You'll see how that handles. And then we go with the M1911 here. The same same blueprint options here for the attachments. So we have the compensator, the stalker barrel, which really isn't even the best one. You probably want to go with the match grade just for the added recoil control. But you can see the stalker barrel pros and cons. We have the one milliwatt laser, which you'll probably want to switch that up if you have this thing leveled up. Then you have the 50 round magazine, which is again, one of those must for this weapon just cause it has such a low ammo capacity. And then also the lightweight trigger for faster fire rate and the cons here being the aiming stability. So you probably honestly want to switch it up with attack laser and some things like that and put on the match grade barrel option. And then obviously maybe a suppressor or stay with the compensator or even the muzzle brake would be a good option for this weapon as well. So that's those two. So. Jumping into the gameplay now again, you can see this just using the CX-9, not the one that I bought for the blueprint because I didn't buy the blueprint or the operator bundle. But again, if you're a fan of the soap bundle, I would definitely recommend it. Personally, I don't really think the bundle is worth it in my opinion because the weapon is free to unlock. And I'm not somebody that's going to use the Scorpion Evo or the CX-9 really at all. I leveled it up a little bit after I unlocked it and it seems like it's a nice weapon, especially online, but... Uh, just not something that I really feel like using for some reason. Not sure why. It took a long time to release. And uh, honestly, I just feel like there's better options out there. But regardless, I think the soap bundle itself looks really good. The operator, again, I think the outfits look good. But I think a lot of people maybe put off by the facial features of the soap. But again, that's something that's going to change in Modern Warfare 2. It's just basically they used, I think, just a, a placeholder face model for this game just because they didn't have the character to stand in for the mocap yet. So that's, I think, why he looks so so weird. Although I think it would have been cool if they just brought in the same model from Modern Warfare 2 and the, the old Modern Warfare series. In the meantime, would have looked pretty cool, to be honest. But unfortunately, they didn't do that. Maybe we'll get something with uh, Modern Warfare 3 or Master eventually where they will bring in that old soap operator as one of those purchasable options. Same what they did with the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered with ghosts so that, that might be something they do again it's available in shop for 2400 card points about 20 dollars and it's probably it's like i said it's definitely worth it if you're a fan of it but this is the last weapon or the second to last weapon for modern warfare to be released we have one more left that being the rail lmg or the six hour next generation squad weapon firing 338 norma magnum so that's the last weapon that we know of from Modern Warfare that still needs to be released. So hopefully that comes up here soon in the future. Most likely the end of Season 5, how we saw this one come here, the end of Season 4 for Cold War. Most likely the Rail will come at the end of Season 5. So let me know down below what you guys think of that. What do you think of the blueprint? What do you think of the Operator Bundle? Again, I'm not somebody that's going to use soap, which is mainly why I'm not buying it. I typically, I typically stay with uh, Shadow Company 
bail or a D-Day for all my operators. So I'm not somebody that's going to use soap. So it would really just unfortunately be a waste of money on my end. But again, if you're a fan of soap, it's a good bundle. So let me know down below what you think, what sort of blueprints uh, you hope to see for Modern Warfare 2. Again, it seems like Modern Warfare 2 will probably be the COD title in 2022. So hopefully, uh, I think Infinity War learned a lot from Modern Warfare here. Especially when it comes for blueprints and Frankensmithing with the gunsmith. So there's a lot of options that I think really even attachment wise that haven't been released into the game. That hopefully we get all these options available in different blueprints available in Modern Warfare 2. As far as like a blueprint basically cosmetically completely changing the weapon into something else. But it's again just a cosmetic change. A good example that I always use there is like the AK-47 from Modern Warfare blueprint to make it the AK-12. Or the Holger 26 blueprint to make it the XM8 would be awesome as well. I think a lot of those type of things would be really cool. They did it with some, like the MG5 or the M91. Does kind of have a couple cosmetic blueprints that make it look a lot like the Sig Sauer Next Generation Squad weapon uh, for the LMG category. Firing in 6.8 or even the 338. So again, when the RAL does release, you can you will be able to look at the similarities between those two. But definitely a missed opportunity with a lot of those blueprints and again obviously because the rush development cycle a lot of these blueprints were done beforehand and then they move off so it's not like they had time to really start developing brand new blueprints and weapons at that point because all this is really done before the game releases they have basically a year's worth of content pretty much lined up and just putting the finishing touches on so have to see what they do with modern warfare 2 again let me know down below what you guys think of this what do you think of the soap operator bundle did you buy it did you not buy it let me know why or why not down below and again big shout out to the community thank you for 30,000 subscribers i'll do a special video for that tomorrow but again we've been working for that for a while it's been a little bit of a crawl that last 10,000 from 20 to 30 but we made it and uh it's awesome so thanks a lot guys i i really do appreciate it and again we'll jump into that tomorrow have a nice 30k uh subscriber thank you type video up tomorrow here on the channel so big shout out to all of you thank you for making me and allowing me to reach 30,000. i appreciate it let me know down below what you guys think of the operator bundle until next time this is buffering gaming